I don't have really have a science background, yeah. um, but just from a, a layman or laywoman's perspective. Yeah. So the scientific methodology, the, you you know, you conduct studies, experiments mm -hmm. you, within a certain period of time. You take mm -hmm. subjects and you have you follow a particular um, protocol, um, and then you um, analyze the results. Mm -hmm. um, but traditional Chinese medicine, can't you say that um, you you have, you know, you you, you have experiments but mm -hmm. more in a in a different sense it, it takes a much longer time it's in real life there is no artificial experiment but you have empirical evidence mm -hmm. um, you know you then you know whether this medicine is working mm -hmm. um, whether that medicine is, is not working mm -hmm. so um, isn't there some validity in that as well and can you take that to to kind of ad adopt it to uh, to more the modern scientific methods. Yeah, there are, you're right that there's certain, uh, I guess, differences between TCM and uh, Western medicine. Because TCM has been around for many thousands of years, and um, a lot of the evidence of uh, efficacy is based on uh, empirical evidence versus any uh, stringent clinical research. But I think the, um, but the, but the challenge is um, with the modern technology, modern methodology, uh, you because you have to be able to show that they are really uh, effective. Uh, some of the, the uh, TCM product they are for uh, acute conditions as as well, like for example for a uh, common cold or mm -hmm. flu, the people use that like uh, Balangan mm -hmm. for the treatment as well. So. Uh, it, in those type of uh, acute conditions, you, you have to be sh able to show they are mm -hmm. better than the than the placebo control arm. I mm -hmm. think that's really, I, th I think that's probably the, the major challenge for TCM, for uh, for TCM to go uh, outside the China, mm -hmm. to uh, U.S. and to European countries. Mm -hmm. How you can convince the uh, regulatory authorities there, uh, this is not just a placebo effect. This is really something above and beyond the, uh, the placebo. They are adding value to the, to the treatment of the condition or management of the signs and symptoms. Mm -hmm. So have there been um, efforts in, in that? Have, have anyone been making any inroads? Yeah, there's one uh, product, a botanical product, called Virgin, approved in the US by the FDA uh, in 2006. It's okay. a, uh, a green tea extract. Uh, for the treatment of uh, uh, external genital warts, and uh, it's, uh, they they've done very very good clinical studies in multiple countries, and uh, they got the FDA clearance. I, I believe that's the first uh, botanical new drug approved by the U.S. FDA. I think this is a great uh, um, case, which means if you do the right uh, study and uh, show the benefits, the the Regulatory authorities in in U.S. or Europe, they all they all uh, review and accept the data and mm -hmm. give you the approval. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably what we need for the TCM products. Really, to have more and more of these type of products go beyond China to really gain the uh, uh, acceptance outside China. Do you think that um, uh, the methodology? can directly apply to traditional Chinese medicine, or should there be any adaptation? Because they're you know, somewhat two different kind of animals. We, there, were had, there was some discussion in the panel as well on this, on this topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's, uh, the, the, to me, the big challenge now. Is there a, a unique, uh, innovative way to uh, evaluate uh, TCM products? Uh, as of now, uh, I, I personally don't see a totally different approach to evaluate a t traditional t TCM product versus a, a modern Western medicine product. But basically, the methodology is the same, and uh, you you have to be able to show the the evidence, especially for uh, outside of China. In traditional Chinese medicine, there must have been some kind of documentation literature. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I. I I'm embarrassed <laughs> that I don't have enough uh, knowledge in this, but for mm -hmm. example, Li Shizhen, the Ben Chao Gang Mu. Mm -hmm. So what's, 
in that? Mm -hmm. um, what, what, what did he write in that? Is there any kind of you know, evidence-based um, uh, records or you know, learnings or, or whatever? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a collection of the, of the classic uh, TCM uh, uh, works. Uh, we are aware of this, this, this uh, as a compilation of the TCM formulas the, uh, to, to tell about their, uh, their uh, uh, indications, what type of conditions they will treat. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, it's accumulation of uh, years of uh, clinical experience. And uh, that's, that's what there. But it's, it's totally different um, approach compared to the, say, modern. Uh, medicine uh, based on uh, the, the identify a molecule then go through the, the, the testing uh, system to develop a new drug, the, the drug we are aware of for, for uh, treating hypertension or for high, uh, high cholesterol levels. And since then there hasn't been um, much evolution in terms of you know people later on adding on to what they observe and, and learn mm -hmm. has there. Just, uh, yeah, I think the, the uh, again, I'm not a, a TCM expert myself. Okay. Based on uh, what I uh, understand, there have been uh, improvement in terms of a formulation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, uh, some of my uh, um, uh, good friends are TCM doctors. They are still uh, developing new formulas for treating certain conditions, which is not in the, uh, the classical uh, books. They are, there's still uh, new innovations Mm. ongoing in, in terms of uh, TCM formula, uh, TCM uh, products to treat some, uh, some uh, diseases or conditions. Mm -hmm. The Chinese government has been investing heavily in Western medicine. Mm -hmm. um, are they simultaneously still promoting Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine as mm -hmm. well um, in terms of their policies? Yeah, I think the, the, the government policies are very uh, uh, favorable to, to encourage the development of TCM, TCM products also to protect the, uh, the legacy uh, TCM uh, products and, and, and ingredients. There's uh, a lot of uh, favorable policies for TCM products in terms of uh, reimbursement, etc. There must be um, modernization efforts within China as well. Mm -hmm. So spe specifically, what do, you, what do you see? I mean, are there any um, steps to, you know, perhaps improve um, sourcing, manufacturing quality, or anything of that sort? To, to me, uh, I think in primarily in my area, the, in the clinical research area, I think we need to see more uh, high quality uh, clinical uh, research and uh, to really demonstrate. Uh, we can probably pick uh, uh, a few uh, product with, with the, the uh, biggest promise and to really demonstrate these products using the mo uh, modern methodology, we can show there they clearly works. Then I think really you can increase the credibility of TCM products uh, uh, outside China, but also in China as well, to really give the consumer the, the confidence uh, indicating these products not only because they have been around for a long time, but also they really, they really work. I think that's the uh, uh, challenge. And I see that also maybe we need a collaboration from government support from the uh, TCM companies in China, also maybe from the uh, multinational companies and uh, to have some uh, collaboration to really to uh, uh, evaluate the, the products in a more uh, um, uh, innovative ways.